Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Bayan Tech. This is their LED projector. It is a 1280 by 800 native resolution projector, uh, which is a little bit of a step up above from most LED projectors, which are 800 by 640 native resolution. Now you can pick this projector up on Amazon at the time of this review for $298, and I will have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. And if we go around the box, we'll just check a couple of things on the box. This is a rather large box here uh, to get everything into frame. They don't have a lot of specs on the box, uh, so I'll go over those in just a second. Uh, just to let you know, again, this is a 1280 by 800 LED projector. It runs on Android 4.4.4. Uh, it does have 8 gigs of storage, uh, it has 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, and it will take SD cards up to 32 gigabytes. So give me a second and I'll be right back uh, to uh, unbox this for you. Okay, so now we've got everything out of the box here. What they do give you is they give you a user manual, and I will go over this in just a second. Uh, they give you a few different cables here. Uh, they give you a regular cable for hooking up uh, older devices via your yellow, red, and white. Uh, maybe these would be good for audio out if you want to output this to a stereo system, that type of thing. They give you a cleaning cloth uh, or tissue for cleaning your lens. Uh, they give you an extra fuse in here as well. Uh, so that's always a welcome thing in case you blow a fuse. They do give you a power cable, obviously. Uh, it's just your standard three-prong power cable. Um, and they give you a PC RGB cable in case you want to hook up a laptop to this that doesn't have HDMI or something like that. You can easily do that uh, with that. And they include that. Uh, and then they give you a remote. And this is a uh, fairly good remote. It's got a lot of different... Um, things. It's not just your basic remote. You've got your volume in your channel and you've got stretching the screen and you've got freezing, you know, the screen itself and you can get into muting and uh, your aspect ratio and a lot of different stuff on this. Although I'm not a big fan of these, I usually, especially with something that runs on Android, I would use a USB mouse to the back. Uh, it just makes navigating so much easier than using a remote. But this is actually a pretty good remote uh, as far as remotes go. Now, as far as the user manual, the model number on this is BT96. This is with Android OS, and it is Android 4.4.4. Uh, it is a good user manual, all written in English, uh, and I do want to go over just a few things. Your uh, distance, uh, you can do a 60-inch screen at up to 2.16 meters uh, away from wherever you're projecting to a 120-inch screen at 4.15 meters. So that gives you an idea of how far away uh, you'll need to be in any specific uh, scenario to get uh, a what size of a screen you will get off of this. Uh, now they do have a couple other things in here uh, that I do want to go over, but this is a very well written manual that has a lot of good information in it, so you're going to want to hold on to it and take a look at it. Uh, let's see. Uh, mobile media formats, I will leave these up here. This includes all your movie, music, and picture formats. If you want to freeze this, you can take a look. It has everything from AVI to MPG for a movie to MP3 and WMA for music. Uh, BMP and JPEG for picture and then uh, we will go over the specifications here uh, you have a uh, uh, 5.8 inch TFT matrix RGB LCD input signal is going to be anything from component video VGA HDMI USB network interface uh, there are two 2 watt speakers in this as well your native resolution again interestingly enough is 1280 by 800 it is not that normal 800 by 640 that we usually see in LED projectors so Supports 1080p playback, uh, contrast ratio is 4,000 to 1, aperture is 3.8, 190 millimeters. Your LED is an 180 watt, 9300 K color temperature uh, with a life of 50,000 hours. Uh, size again on the image can be 60 to 120 inch. Brightness is 550 lumens. Your keystone correction is going to be 15 degree uh, plus or minus, and your voltage is going to be 110 to 220 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, and your power consumption is going to be 220 watts. So. That is pretty much all I want to show you on this. Uh, there is a 12-month warranty uh, period from date of purchase. Uh, the, the halogen or the lamp will only have a six-month warranty. 
uh, or I'm sorry, the LED lamp, a halogen lamp will only have six month warranty, but this has an LED lamp in it, which has 24 month warranty. So you have a 24 month warranty on your LED lamp that's inside here, or LED bulb, uh, and then a 12 month uh, warranty for the actual projector itself. So actually really cool uh, by buying tech to do that. Uh, so you've got a warranty card here. You wanna make sure that you hold on to this and then we'll take a look real quickly at the outside of this and then I'll get into uh, just a demo of everything. Now on the front, you're gonna have a screen here. This is an air intake screen and even behind that screen, you can see a dust filter, which is awesome. Uh, Biotech logo here, a very, very nice, huge lens here as you can see on this uh, very very nice with a good lens, lens cover to cover everything an IR port here and a leveler to level the picture out uh, the unit out so that you can level it on whatever you're going to do now on this side I wanted to show you there are dual fans for exhaust on this unit so they did a really good job on exhaust on this unit which is something uh, that a lot of them don't have and then they tell you you know you should only run it for four hours or so they're saying that you can run this for 24 hours uh, at a time because of the ventilation that they put in now i'll tell you about the um fan noise when we do the demo you can hear that for yourself uh you do have inputs here uh, the you know yp pr uh pb uh, and then your uh, red and white in and outs. If you want to output it to a stereo system, you can do it that way. Your power connection goes here with a dedicated on off switch. Keystone correction is here for a dial on the back for your keystone correction. And here are some good inputs here that we want to get into. You have two dedicated HDMI uh, ports here, which is excellent. You have a, a wired LAN port if you don't want to use the built-in wireless. You have a PC RGB in for older um, devices such as laptops that may not have HDMI. And then you have two inputs here. One is a USB 2.0 and one is a USB 3.0. So that's excellent. USB 3.0 for the extra uh, speed there. Now you're going to have some buttons on the top. Uh, if you want to use those to navigate, you can for quick and easy access. Although again, I would not do that. I would use the uh, built-in Android function of being able to take a mouse and actually use a mouse to do that. So Let's get to the demo real quick, and then I will close out the review after that. Uh, we'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we have our main screen of the BT-96, uh, and it is an, a skinned Android. It is 4.4.4 uh, on Android. You do have a movie, music, application, office, and if you uh, slide over, you'll get your inputs here. Uh, you can do USB inputs. Uh, AV, HDMI 1 and 2, PC, RGB, and of course your component inputs as well. Now they do have an app uh, section over here as well. If I can get over to it and show you guys, there it is, your app section. These are just installed apps like YouTube, Netflix, uh, a file manager for browsing um, local files, uh, a brow built-in browser, projector settings, and then of course your settings uh, for the actual Android side of things. Now here's your Wi-Fi. This will tell you what Wi-Fi's are available, what you can connect to. It does support 5G Wi-Fi as well. And I do of course have a uh, mouse hooked up to this for easier navigation for the demo portion. Uh, it does have Bluetooth, so you can add Bluetooth controllers, uh, Bluetooth uh, speakers as well if you would like to. Uh, you can Take a look at some of the things down here. Most of this is going to be normal for Android. And then at the bottom, we're going to have about device. And this is where you'll go to see uh, where you can get system updates. Your model number is just called Android projector. Android version 4.4.4. Your kernel and build numbers are also here as well. So uh, if you want to do like a system update, you can go to system updates. Uh, and it, it tells you that my system is up to date already. Uh, so I don't have to do an update on this. Uh, if you want to take a look, again, this will be your app drawer here. Uh, if we go back uh, to home, drag back over to home here, uh, where it says application, uh, it will have, this will take you to the Play Store. So if you want to go into the Play Store, it doesn't have a normal Play Store icon, but as you can see, the Play Store is fully compatible, a nice bright screen on this. The 4,000 to 1 contrast ratio really sticks out uh, and does a great job. So you have everything that you can need on the Play Store that you can install on this. 
Uh, and then uh, if you go to movies, they have its own service RDM, it's called Cloud TV. Uh, and I don't have it set up, that's why the connection failed. Uh, but if you wanna play back other things, you can install Kodi on this. Uh, you can do a local um, playback as well. So if we go in here and we do a local playback and go to, uh, this is off a USB drive, we'll just go to movies and we will go to, okay, we'll go to Sucker Punch because that's what loaded up. And I will increase the volume so that you guys can hopefully hear the volume on this. But as you can see, excellent picture, nice color, very, very good on all of that as far as color goes. Uh, Christmas, again, they did an excellent job on this projector. Uh, a little bit of uh, outsides. Uh, you can see some little white on the outside there, but not too bad at all uh, overall. Uh, mostly shows up on darker scenes, uh, not so much on lighter scenes. Uh, as far as action scenes, now this is a 1080p file uh, that uh, will be no problem. You can hear the two 2 watt speakers do a pretty good job at uh, playing the uh, audio as well. So let's get out of this, go back, and show you a few other things here. Uh, that's local file playback. Again, you can do movies. Uh, they don't have anything except for... Uh, this uh, one setup that's here that I haven't configured yet. Uh, music uh, be the, kind of be the same way. Uh, you're gonna do some sort of music setup that they already have here, and I haven't gone into this too much, uh, but you can put Pandora on here. You can put anything from the Play Store on here that you want to. Uh, Voodoo would be another one that I would put on uh, for movie streaming. Uh, it does have Netflix built in. I will go over and uh, show you YouTube uh, and I haven't launched YouTube yet, so it may take a second to come up. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll just look at some Diablo playback. I don't know if this is just like season six Diablo playback, uh, but not bad. And as you can see, they uh, this plays back excellent. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Good sound, great color on the picture. Uh, and this is streaming from YouTube, no problems at all. So I don't have any problems with the YouTube built-in YouTube app on this as well. Uh, so they did an awesome job. Now you can go into projector settings here, and this will take you to your picture settings where you can flip it horizontal, uh, vertical or horizontal. Uh, your sound output can be uh, changed to uh, from normal to you know a, a few different things, line and a few others that you may need to uh, do here. Uh, so you can set your wallpaper. Uh, you can also uh, use a browser. This is a Chrome-based browser here. Uh, it's going to automatically assign me in through Google, uh, and I'll say OK. And then I will get a browser here in just a second, should. And you can use a browser. Uh, you pretty much um, sign in using uh, your existing Google account, and then you'll get a Google-based browser or Chrome-based browser here. Uh, comes up really well, has an on-screen keyboard you can use. Uh, if we just want to search for, um, uh, I don't know, how about Diablo 3, since I've been using, I've been playing that a while lately. So there's Diablo 3, we'll search for that. And as you can see, everything comes up in that normal Chrome fashion uh, where you get uh, you know, images at the top and videos and uh, anything that you want to go through and look, where to buy it, that type of thing. Uh, so uh, take to YouTube if you want to, uh, you know, the new class of Necromancer coming out. Uh, but anyway, as far as the uh, browser goes, excellent on the browser as well. Uh, so you can add pretty much anything. Obviously, they just put Netflix and YouTube installed, uh, pre-installed. Uh, they do have Happy Casts. You can cast this. You can use Miracast through Android, uh, and it does a great job at doing that as well. I won't go into that. But overall, I have had uh, a great experience with this. Uh, this built-in uh, configured movie app that they have, uh, I will probably replace with Kodi. 
Uh, I'm surprised they didn't put Cody in this because uh, a lot of them do. Uh, but the Cloud TV, I, I haven't really used it that much. Uh, I would rather use Cody. Uh, but that's just a personal preference. And you can install Cody on this. Uh, again, it's Android 4.4.4. Uh, it's got built-in Office applications as well, as we'll see right here. Uh, it's uh, XPS, uh, so you've got that. I don't want to participate in user statistics, but uh, you are all set to be able to um, use WPF Office to project documents on the screen, uh, that type of thing. You can do it from local documents, projection guides, and uh, removable disks. So you've got that in there if you want to as well. Uh, but as the, the 1200 by uh, 1280 by 800 resolution on this is so much better than the typical 800 by 640 that we normally see on the uh, other LED projectors. So they did an excellent job with bumping up that resolution. So now I will tell now that you've kind of seen the overview of this, I will go back to the close of the review and I hope that you enjoyed that. So that was my review of the Biontech BT96 LED projector. Uh, it is a little bit on the large side, um, but beyond that, it has great ventilation, excellent uh, brightness, contrast ratio, and uh, a bump up in that resolution from that normal 800 by 640 that we see on LED projectors. Uh, Built-in Android system with access, full access to the Play Store. Uh, so you can pretty much do whatever you'd like to install, games, uh, applications. Uh, again, uh, their video application wasn't the built-in video application. That Cloud TV wasn't one of my favorites, but uh, you could easily put Kodi on this since it is an Android system uh, and run a full Kodi suite on this. Uh, local playback of 1080p files were excellent, as you saw. Uh, two 2 watt speakers do a great job at delivering good speaker sound. Fan noise is a little bit loud, but it's not so loud that it's distracting. Overall, Biotech did an excellent job on this projector, and I would definitely give it a thumbs up. This is Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this projector, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.